Welcome to a Friday Success Boardroom Call. Um, super excited today. We have Kevin Markarian always on, and then our guest, and I'll let Kevin introduce him, Jeremy Herider. Jeremy Herider. Jeremy. So Jeremy Herider, um, what can I say about Jeremy? This guy is a super smart, smart guy. Um, uh, pro former professional baseball player, um, CrossFitter, super like nutritional kind of guy, not only physically, but mentally, which is really important. Um, Jeremy and I connected, what was it? It's been like six, eight months now. Uh, yeah, definitely. reached out, he reached out to me, um, after learning about marker real estate on, in a mastermind group and was just interested in what we were doing. We hit it off, started really just chatting, masterminding, learning from one another, sharing best practices. He's the kind of person that like is like part of our sort of core when it comes to, um, being transparent, collaborative, um, and uh, just an all-around, just super <clears throat> smart, awesome dude. Former Kel former Kel Keller Williams team leader, right? Yeah. Uh, now, now a coach, coaching like almost forty agents uh, on real estate, how to grow their businesses, uh, taking taking agents from like down here to like super successful uh, levels within their business, and just you know all around just positive guy. So we wanted to have him on today because. He's going to talk about some things that are very important to us as, as uh, entrepreneurs. And that is like taking control of our lives, taking control of our, our um, you know, not only me mental sort of outlook, but also physical um, preparation and, and just, you know, just preparing for our day, preparing for our lives and our businesses. So Jeremy, man, thank you so much for being on. Oh man, thank, well, thank you. It's, it's an absolute honor. And then listening to the intro when, when I'm like, man, I want to meet that guy. Like that, <laughs> Like that dude sounds pretty cool. Like, <laughs> I know, man, I'm super grateful. Um, you know, you and I have had some, some really uh, amazing dinners and conversations and, uh, you know, um, I just want to say, man, I'm really, truly honored to, to know what you've done to watch your growth and, and what you've been able to accomplish, uh, in the real estate industry and, and really disrupt some, some things around here that, that I just absolutely love and so the thing is, is, is when you and I started talking and, and, you know, coaching agents, being in business myself, you know, running a business, building it from scratch, selling it off for profit, like all these things. And now I'm, now I'm dealing with these, these agents and there's some certain things that kept coming up year after year, month after month, you know, and you know, I've, I've sat on these, I've been had the privilege of, of jumping on your Friday calls, man. You've had amazing stuff in, in regards to lead generation and follow-ups you know, how to run the best open house, all these kind of things. And at the end of the day, people want to do business with people. And how do I, how do I ultimately become my best self so that I'm attracting the people that I want to be in business with? And the truth is, is that there are some little tiny things that we can change in our lives that we can work on that we just make small incremental changes, right? That compound interest, that 1% better each day. And as they compound on each other, you're going to have more energy. You're going to have, you're going to be better at whatever lead generation source you're in. So what I want to share with you guys today is, is really what has become my <laughs> life, so to speak. Um, and, and what it is, is bringing you guys, uh, what I call optimal self, that's, that's my, that's my brand, right? Like, uh, let me make sure this can work. It's, it's the brand that, that, uh, that I want to bring to the world and, and especially agents, because what I'm finding is things that we can do in our life to create a better world for ourselves. right? Did the screen share? Are we good? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. So, Optimal self is something that is very, very important to me. It's a passion project of mine. Like I, like, like Kevin said, I coach uh, 38 agents today. Almost, we're, we're, we're looking for that 39th and 40th. 40 is about our cap. Um, taking them from it doesn't matter from a million to two million, from zero to to 100,000, whatever that looks like. But the truth is, it doesn't matter where your business is. Ultimately, we got to help you, and we got to build you as the individual. So, optimal self was born out of helping other people and finding the reason that for you individually to become the best version of yourself. Um, there are a couple quotes to start. Um, one of my favorite guys on earth, David Osborne, if you don't know him, check him out. He wrote a book called Wealth Can't Wait. 
Um, super smart guy, started from zero. Now he's a principal owner of the sixth largest real estate company in the United States. Did over 10 billion in sales uh, last year. And one of the things he says in, in everything, uh, if you ever get a chance to hear him speak, he says you cannot achieve a level of success beyond your self-development. So you're gonna hit a ceiling at some point with whatever that is. And for some people, that is a million, two million, whatever that looks like. And other people, it's 30,000, 50,000, 80. So whatever that ceiling is for us individually, the way to grow through it is to develop ourselves. It's not the next latest and greatest script. It's not the next latest and greatest Facebook ad. It's not all these things that we think it is. It's actually already in us. Everybody on this call right now, it is in you right this second. Everything you need to hit that ultimate level of success is already in you. It's nothing new you need. We gotta break through and open up the possibilities. Um, the thing I like to share um, is, is again, if you guys haven't read The Miracle Morning, I highly recommend it. Uh, but Hal Elrod says, the greatest gift we can give to people we love is to live to our full potential. Why? So we can inspire, encourage, and influence them to live to theirs. It's not about copying somebody else. It's not about being somebody else. What it is is about being the best you. And the way that I can do that is by me showing up in my life every day at my best so that the people around me see that and they can inspire to be their best. I don't, they don't need to be my best. Even I have, you know, I have two girls. Uh, we have two young boys at home right now. And our goal is, my goal is to inspire them to be far beyond what I could ever dream of. Their dreams need to be bigger and better than, and be better than me. Not the same. Don't mimic me. Be yourself and be the best version of you. And so, what I want to bring to you guys is, is just that. How do, I, how do I do that, right? What does this look like from, a, from So I always ask these questions, you know what I mean? Do you feel, if you're on this call, ask yourself these questions. Do you feel tired throughout your day, right? Do you get that two or three o'clock brain fog, right? Do you sometimes just feel like, I just don't have it. My energy is down. My, my brain is just not working today, right? Like, like if you've ever had that feeling, you know what I'm And, you know, do you ever get through your day, had a full day, right? Maybe even eight, 10, 12 hour day and feel like the needle in your business didn't move forward. Like it just stumbled through the day, right? It's the end of the day. So I know it's time to leave and go home, but nothing really truly happened. The needle didn't move today. Well, here's what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> it's not the five-hour energy, right? <laughs> I know you're probably all reading that and go, oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen that commercial. Just pop one of those little five, you know, Dirk Bentley, you know, his, 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 his battery goes up. That's not it. It's not the Red Bull. It's not run to the <laughs> maker, right? Those are actually the opposites of what you should be doing, right? Understand that those are for-profit businesses and all they want you to do is get addicted to that so that you feel. And all it is is all, all that is is manufactured. None of it's even real, right? It's all it's all manufactured. So what I want to show you today is 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 what is the next step for you guys? How how can we get better? Right? So we look at it, we look at a real estate agent, for instance, right? And you say, and I think all of you guys are, are mostly in the, you know, the San Francisco or, or that area. So I'll give you a scenario. Let's just say you you get home from work, right? Maybe you eat with the family or you sit, whatever it is. And then the kids get to bed or whatever. And guess what you do? You jump on your email real quick and you're like, oh, let me just, let me just see what's in there. And here comes this laundry list of 77 things. And it doesn't even matter what side you're on. You could be the buyer's agent and you get that list from a buyer and you're like, oh, holy shit, right? Or it could be the other side and you're the listing agent and the buyer's agent sends you over this laundry list and you're like, dude, it's a 1926 colonial. Of course there's going to be things wrong with it, bro. Like the hell are we talking about here? Like, and so, but, but let's take it from a physiological standpoint. As soon as I see that email at 1030 at night, what happens? I mean, my blood pressure goes up. My heart rate goes up. I'm pissed off. I'm going to give you a little tip do not answer it that night, right? Like whatever you do, put it away, sleep on it if you can and, and answer it the next day. Give yourself time because, you know, 
being professionals is, is very, very important in this business. But I'll give you a little tip. Do not answer it right away. And even if that happens in a daytime exercise and you go and you see it, I call it the five, the five minute rule, right? Like step away from it for five minutes, go breathe, go walk, walk around the building, talk to a friend, you know, call your mom, right? Like do something fun and then come back to it and you maybe you'll have a clearer head. So, so what happens, right? Now I, now I'm on it. Now I'm all pissed off or, or my, my heart rate's elevated or I'm just frustrated, right? So I end up, you know, laying in bed. What are the things people do? They scroll the internet. They're on Facebook. They're on their Instagram. They're on, all, and, and all that's doing is perpetuating. And then what happens? I just, I, I end up falling asleep with my phone in my hand, right? Or I fall asleep with the, the, the television on. And let me tell you something. The problem with that, the number one problem we're going to start with today is this. You never have a sense of relief, right? You never actually recover. You don't let your mind and your body calm down, relax, get away from work for a minute, get away from all of that. Every day you should take that time, do it at night, put the phone down. We need that sense. Problem number two, and, I, and what I'm going to share with you guys today, I want to be clear, is that these aren't my opinions. These, the, the stuff that I'm going to share with you is science. It's, it's not my opinion. I didn't, I didn't make it up. It's scientific studies, and I'll show you some of it that we're going to go through. But the blue light from your computer or your phone delays the release of melatonin. Melatonin is what gets us to our full REM sleep. You guys have probably heard of REM sleep. People talk about it, right? It's the deepest recovery sleep for ourselves. It is where and only where our body recovers. Only. So when you're awake, laying on the couch, doing whatever, there's no recovery. Your body is working at that time. It's the only time it recovers. And again, your body is meant to recover. Have you ever heard of a, somebody getting a traumatic, maybe a car accident or something happening? And they say, oh, he's in a medically induced coma, right? You guys have heard that term before, a medically induced coma? Yeah. But what they're doing is setting you into a spot, into a place where your body can recover, can, can heal itself. Your body is meant to heal itself from inflammation, all these diseases that we have. If you can get there, your body will. So you've heard stories. You can research it, Google it, a week, a month. There's got, there, there, there are actual data stories that people waking up from a medically induced coma years later, years, and ultimately learning how to walk, talk, and having a normal life. And everyone's like, oh my God, it's a miracle. No, it's not a miracle. It's, it, it's not. Your body is meant to heal itself. If it can and it has the time, it will. So if somebody in a medic, I mean, and again, if the trauma is so bad that it can't heal itself, it won't. I mean, let's be honest, right? I mean, that's, that's part of, of, of life as well. But if it can, it will. And let me share something. So think about that from us right now, everybody sitting on this call right here. How, many, how much of that are we not getting and we're not healing on a daily basis? We're not allowing our bodies to fully recover, our brains to fully recover so that they can be optimal the next day. So I'm not hair trigger, so that I'm not in a bad mood, right? Mood is choice, by the way. That's a choice. If you're choosing to be in a bad mood, that's choice. You make that choice. That's nobody else. And nobody can make you feel any way. You can allow them to make you feel that way, but you can stop that. So now imagine for a second if we could actually get ourselves, put some things in our lives so that we're starting to shut down properly, get REM sleep on a regular basis and starting to have optimal days, day after day after day, right? You know, Dan Hardy, you know, the compound interest, you guys have probably read that book. If you haven't, I highly recommend it. He talks about pounding it on top of each other, little incremental things, 1% better today, 1%, do a little bit better, put your phone down, right? Ahead of schedule, spend time with the people that mean something to you. Right? If you're half in and half out all the time, that's where overwhelm comes. Right? So how do we get there? Right? What is I always like to give you the science. If you read that last line, uh, the last uh, light at night is part of the reason so many people don't get enough sleep. 
Stephen Lockley, a Harvard sleep researcher, has linked short sleep to increase for depression, diabetes, cardiovascular problems, a lot of the things you have. I would tell you right now, the reason is, is because most disease starts with inflammation. And when you don't get the proper sleep, what happens is your body can't fight the inflammation. Inflammation turns into disease, turns into all these other things. And now I get less sleep. Now my knee hurts. Now my back hurts. Now I'm having brain fog more often than not, right? Whatever you do, do not go to a medical doctor, right? West, I mean, no offense to, to Western science, but they're just going to give you a pill that's, that's, that's only going to make it worse. So let's find some things that we can do to, to figure out how that looks, okay? The problem is, right, is that we don't get full recovery sleep. So let's see, Let, let's see what happens now. Let's take that same scenario, right? I've been laying in bed, I'm all pissed. I, that stupid request for repairs came in and it's a laundry list and I'm like, what is wrong with these people? So I fall asleep with the phone in my hand and guess what happens? Morning comes, snooze hits. What happens? I hit the snooze button. And then I guess what? I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm, I'm guilty of this, is that I literally know how many minutes it is till the next thing, right? Mine is nine minutes, just so you know. So all of you guys didn't know that thing, you're probably laughing along with me, right? At nine minutes, and then what happens though? I hit it again because I start doing the calculation in my head while I'm laying there sleeping to say, okay, I need to be there at 8.45, so if I wait nine more minutes, I think I can make it, right? And now all of a sudden I hit it that last time, and then maybe I did fall into a sleep, and now I'm late. And so guess what happens? Here goes our prepare. I grab Starbucks, right? Because that's drive through energy, right? Drive through Starbucks, grab, oh, I grab the wrap, right? Because that's healthy because it's better than the other thing, right? It's, and, and just so you know, if it sits on a shelf, you know, for three, four, five weeks, it's, it's probably not healthy. Just so, you know, let's, let's, not, let's not get too deep into there. But now what am I fired up on? Sugar and caffeine, right? Sugar and caffeine. So actually in the morning, I'm probably not too bad. Those first few hours, I'm probably pretty good. That's what happens. Now I get to the office, calls start piling up. I'm back on the emails. I'm answering emails. I get all this. And then really, I never move my business forward, which in, today, in, in the real estate world, we call it lead generation because I start getting into everything else. My day gets away from me. I'm, I'm probably around two or three o'clock running to that that, that coffee machine or trying to find what that next thing is because I because I'm moving. So truth is now <laughs> how do I how do I change it? I mean that's that's the truth. The truth of this for all of us is is how do we change it? What I want to do is is touch on a few things. The the hack, the action item, and then you know of course so how do we do this? We reverse engineer your day. It's just like if you guys sit down and, and I'm sure you guys do this with your business plans each year. What do I start with? I start with the, the very top. How many units do I want to close? What is the volume I want? What is the amount of money I want to make? Whatever the thing is that's important to you, that's where I start. I want to make a million bucks. And then what do I do? I reverse engineer it down to the granular thing to say how many contacts do I need to make a day? How many closings do we need to make a week to hit that goal? right? We reverse engineer it. So we do the same and it starts at night. I'm going to give you some, I mean, optimal self for me, you know, has the morning routines and all these things, but it starts at night because if we reverse engineer, then we have a chance. So the question to ask yourself every single night is how do you, how, how am I going to shut down or how do you shut down now? And do you even shut down? Or are you on there, the one that's scrolling, the, the scrolling Facebook until you fall asleep or whatever, whatever your vice is. Some people are even reading. I've even had people go, hey, Jeremy, I read at night, but I read on my iPad. And I tell them, listen, either get the blue blocker glasses, turn off the blue light. But it's even better is using actual pages because your fingers turning the pages, the black and white does re different parts of our brain, uh, get, which is very, very important. I have a quick question for you, Jeremy. Bring tell it. us more about those. Uh, and I see that Justin is asking as well. Tell us more about the glasses. The Google okay. glasses. Okay. 
So, so these, what I'm wearing right now, these actually block the blue light coming in. So, so the blue light, when we see from where we see, whatever we're looking at, whatever screen we're looking at, the blue light, act, the, the glasses actually reflect the blue light so it never enters in my eye line, which never actually gets into my brain. Does that make sense? I can't see the question. So if you have more questions. Yeah, no, that's, um, that's basically it. Um, Listen, you can get them. I mean, I, these are, hold on. I think I have the pack. These are CYXUS. These are the ones I use. You can get, I, you can get them Amazon. You could probably prime them to yourself and have them, you know, <laughs> by end of day nowadays, right? With technology. Cool. I'll let you continue because I see some people talking about blue light glasses. I heard about them a couple of years ago from Alex Sharpin, Sharpin or something. So, yeah. Cool. Okay, cool. Is there any other questions? I, I, I have question. something on that. There's a lot okay. of people talking right now. Um, All right, cool. So, do you do you feel a difference? I I notice. For me, it's it. I mean, I didn't realize how much strain I was having and I'm on the computer all, I mean, a lot, right? Like a lot of my day, a lot of my day, even a lot of my coaching clients are via Zoom just like this, where they're seeing my screen and we're, we're going through, you know, we're going through some things and I didn't really realize it until I started, until I started using them and I was, I mean, I was still getting headaches. I mean, pretty much that strain is completely gone for me. And I, I'm not, I don't know everybody's uh, answer to that, but for me personally, I notice a difference. That's why I share it. Okay. What's the, what's the name of the brand again so I can share it with everybody? No problem. No problem. C-Y-X-U-S. X-U-S. Yeah. So, so real quick, guys, I don't want to take up too much time on here, but I'm going to Amazon right now and I'm ordering them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just buy me a pair? <laughs> done done i'll do it all right man so so i want to honor the time so let's so as we first engineer your day what i call it is a nighttime ritual so the life hack is this we know that we know that it suppresses the blue light even if you are on there and you can't you can't get away from it the the life hack today it's for you guys right now is stop looking at your screens two hours before bed what that means is if, if I got a 10 o'clock or 11, if you're going to bed at 11 o'clock normally, stop on the phone, stop on the computer, stop on it all about nine, about 8.30 or 9 o'clock. Give your brain time to reinvigorate itself, to get back to where that state is so that I can get to the REM sleep ahead of time. An action item for, for everybody is obviously reading, again, not on your screen, an actual book. Um, I loved the, you know, one of the biggest things that they talk about today is, is being grateful, right? Having a grateful journal next to your bed, writing, writing about what your day was. And what I teach all of my business students, everybody, doesn't even matter what, if they're, if they're realtors or if they own a salon or if they own, you know, uh, an insurance company. I mean, I got people, when I, what we talk about is setting intention. And, and this is my quote that I live by, the power of tomorrow starts with the intention of tonight. So if I set my intention for tonight, so tomorrow, and I stole the, this idea, so you know, about five years ago, I saw Barbara Corcoran speak, speak. If you ever have a chance, that lady is off the charts good. Like, and she, and one of the things that she talked about was in her business, you know, building a $200 million, you know, real estate business, she said, every night, every night, I set my list of what was going to happen the next day. And then I went out and executed. And I was like, wow. And, and, and I'm a big guy on intentionality. Like I don't stumble my way through days. I don't stumble my way through workouts. I don't, I know what I'm doing. It's a focus. It's, it's intentional. It's very, very intentional. So said that, that the night before having your, having your journal by your bed, having a, a pad of paper and, and look at, you can look at your schedule. What does it look like? And then from there, set your intention for the day. That's an absolute incredible action item that will set you up for success going in. So you should never show up to work going, huh, what should I do today? Huh, who should I call today? Um, who should I follow up with? That should never happen. If you set it the night before, you're going to show up on fire, ready to roll because you already know what's coming. You already know what it is. That intentionality will set you up for amazing, amazing days. And now stack, 
a couple amazing days on top of each other, and now you got amazing weeks. A couple amazing weeks together, you got amazing months. And before you know it, your life and business is far beyond what you can even dream, right? So the science of it is this, every human is different. Studies show that seven to eight hours of sleep is optimal. Everybody's different. Myself, I'm an eight hour guy, I need it. So I, I try to plan for eight hours every single night. And something that's super important, guys, is this. The sleep needs to be regular. You cannot make up sleep. Let me, re let me say that again. You cannot make up sleep. So in other words, if I had four hours today, I can't get 12 hours tomorrow and, and, and it evens out to eight. It doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. We've got to stack regular sleep on top of each other week, day after day, day after day after day to get the most. What happens is the more, the, the more regular your sleep is, the more charged your battery is going to be. Think about yourself just like a, the battery on your iPhone or your, your Android, whatever you use. You don't plug that thing in at night. Guess what? Tomorrow, it's going to have less charge. It may not be all the way out, but it is going to have less charge. So how do we make sure that we're plugging in and getting optimal every single night? We do that by regular sleep, right? And the more it is on a day, a day in day basis, the object is to actually optimize your day, right? I talk a lot, you know, one of, one of the optimal self principles is intentionality, is being intentional. And, and what intentionality means is you are purposeful in, in your word, so that means what I say, and in my action. Think about those things for a second because those things in your life need to be in alignment. Where most people fail is they say they want to make a million bucks, but they don't do the action it takes to make a million bucks. They say they want to lose 20 pounds, but they drive through McDonald's for lunch every day, right? The words and the action don't line up, right? So what that means is, is, is you live a life that is meaningful and fulfilling to you. We're all on the same journey. You know what that is? Fulfillment. It's not money. It's not your car. It's fulfillment. It means you make thoughtful choices in your life. Being intentional means you, you actively interact and engage with your life every day. Show up in your life every single day, right? The action is, you know, <laughs> when you set out each day, know what, your, know what your steps, actions, and goals are for the day. We always talk about these big lofty goals, and I'm all about it. I'm all about setting goals for the year. I love it. I love annuals. I love a three-year and a five-year goal. I love the 10-year plan. I know Kevin and I, I used to always drill them on that. and be like, what does this look like at the end? What if so-and-so comes and offers 50 million? Are we out of here? Are you out of here? Like, what does it look like, right? All like, the time. <laughs> what is the end result, man? Because the only way we get there is by what we do today, the intentionality of today, right? So the thing you can do is add in a nighttime ritual, add in a morning ritual, right? And, and you see my favorite quote, my, what I live by, the power of tomorrow starts with the intention of tonight. And I think I got so because of time, normally this, you know, when I do optimal self as a whole, when I get into hydration, my, my, the, the, six, the six principles, you got to be hydrated. You got to breathe properly. You got to take yourself through some breath exercises because breath will change anxiety. It will change stress. It will change your state, right? If you've ever seen Tony Robbins, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. Uh, I mean, Oprah Winfrey, Sir Richard Branson, all of them have patterns that they go through for breath to get them into an optimal state so that they can have, that they can be and do what they have the, the, the most of, right? Movement, you know, I don't use exercise because most people see me and they go, holy shit, I don't want to look like Jeremy, right? That guy's way too, <laughs> way too this, he likes to go. Kevin and I have been saying all week, we're all, dude, we got to talk to him about his program. <laughs> which, which I'm totally cool with, but sometimes that scares people. So I'm not saying, you know, you need to exercise, you need to join a gym. What I'm saying is you need to move your ass every day, right? You should be writing. That's your intentionality. That's your goals. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever that is, what you're grateful for. You should read. And like I said, to, to, to be intentional is, is what it's all about. So that, that's the last one. Cause I, I want to honor the time you can see with, with hydration, we go into the life hack action and science. 
and and in the full presentation, you know, if we get a chance, each one of these will go into the will go into the life hack, we'll go into the action, we'll go into the science behind it. But today, I wanted to just make sure that that, that we touched on how do I power down, how do I get the most sleep, how do I recover, right? Uh, one of the greatest trainers in the world that I that I ever had an opportunity to work with, he said to me, he said, Jeremy, you can't overtrain, you can only under recover. Mm. Your diet isn't, if you're not hydrated, if you're not eating right, if you're not getting the proper sleep, it doesn't matter what your workouts look like. You're not going to be able to do shit. You're not going to be able to ever be your optimal self. And so that's where this is born out of. And I'll leave you with the power of tomorrow, man, starts with the intention tonight. So, so dude, like, that's all I, I, I love this stuff, right, so much. And I want everybody on here, all our great agents, brokerages team everybody if you could give these guys five actionable steps that they could do today i mean it looks like we have six on the screen right now but um what is you know one piece of advice or a couple steps that they could implement today and see some kind of impact well i'll go uh, the first two would be what i talked about in, in there is is tonight shut your phone off Put it away two hours before you go to bed, right? Get try try to get to that optimal sleep if and, and set your intention. Write down, you know, the one, the three, the five most important things to move the needle on your life and on your business. Cause because both they go together, right? Write down those things tonight. And when you wake up in the morning, so my biggest thing is hydration. Most people live in some form of dehydration their whole lives. And how do we fix that? Hydration, the first thing that, you should, that goes into your body is some water. I like to add Himalayan sea salt and I give, in, in the other presentation, I'll give you all the reasons why there's 84 trace minerals that, 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 that activate different things in your body that allows our body. Here's the thing about hydration. If you're taking a, 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 a one a day vitamin or if you're, even if you're eating very well, if your body isn't hydrated, it cannot absorb the nutrients that you're giving it. And so if you've ever taken a vitamin and then you went and you went to the bathroom and it's like this orange yellow and you think, holy cow, what the heck is that? All that is, is, is your body excreting what it cannot use, right? It's not using those vitamins. So the way that your body will use is if I'm properly hydrated, it will take more. So if you can Get away from your phone before you go to bed. Get, get the proper, set your proper intention for the next day. And when you wake up before coffee, because I'm a coffee drinker and I, and I, and I advocate coffee actually, because there's some really great properties to it that, that help us set that and, and have that, have that 16 ounces of water prior to anything else. And you'll notice a difference. You'll so I have a question. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm being kind of selfish, right? Yeah, bring it. So I wake up and drink an Organifi in the morning. Okay. Do you think that the Himalayan sea salt and lemon mixed in with the water is better? Yes. And, and the reason is, is that I don't, well, see, see truthfully, I would need to, we, it's a deeper conversation to what else is going in your body <laughs> to know, to know what, how much of your body is actually retaining in that drink that you're drinking. Right, like that, and organic. That's all great stuff in it. It's fantastic, a matter of fact. But you will get more benefit from it if you're properly hydrated before you drink it, because you'll retain more of it. So okay. it's a deeper conversation. It's not an easy answer, but the, the easy answer would be, yeah, man. Let's let's get let's get some hydration in first, and then add that in so that your body can retain more of it. Jeremy, two things real quick, and then uh, we can wrap it up. One is yep. definitely need to have you back on. We were getting a lot of great feedback. Yes, dude. Uh, you are the man, bro. Cool, man. Cool. I love it. I love it. We're going to have you back on. We'll have you back on uh, to talk about some more of this and maybe get into the, into the conversation with this presentation. The other okay. one thing I want to say to everyone on this call right now, first of all, you guys being on this call says a lot about you. As, as Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're awesome, Jeremy. Um, the people on this call right now, you guys are taking an additional step to like grow your business and the people like Jeremy, which the beauty of these, these calls and why we do this is we don't, we want to bring people that are in the trenches that are doing these things that they're talking about. There's so many gurus out there that just talk, but don't, don't do <coughs> that they teach. 
What I love about Jeremy, what I love about Sunit, what I love about this whole thing is, is we're doing these things. Like we're not, we're not just talking about it. We're doing these things. Like Jeremy every day is at the gym. I know he gets up at five in the morning. He's been telling me to go join him. I'm still getting there, bro. Like, but um, I'm I'm still going to ask you. (laughs) It's not just some person kind of like preaching. This is stuff that Jeremy does every single day. So that's what I love about it. I love it all, man. Thank you so much. Um, I have to go if you guys, yeah, me too. I'll leave you with this last one because you made a com- You made the, the comment you made is intention is 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 what I think of as integrity, right? Is do what you say you're gonna do, right? I'm never gonna tell you guys something to do that I wouldn't. And it comes down for me is is what intentionality creates is what I call self synergy. It's my own term, but here it is. Self synergy is when your thoughts and actions are all in alignment. Think about the moments of your life, right? That in your life, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in your business or whether it's in your whatever other personal things you have, is that when your thought becomes your words, becomes your actions, when all of those are in alignment, you're unstoppable, unstoppable. Boom. Let's end it with that. that. Really quick, guys, guys, if if you want to get a hold of Jeremy for more information, what should they do? Please uh, email me. It's my name, Jeremy Herriter, J-E-R-E-M-Y-H-E-R-I-D-E-R at gmail.com. Uh, Kevin has it. So if you could, Kev, spend that out. Hey, if, if and also let them know if they want those slides that they saw today, if that helps, I'd be more than happy to pass the slides on as well and answer any questions, man. So, so yep. hit up, shoot it to me. I'm here for you guys. I love this. We'll share thank all you. your info, Jeremy. We'll share everything with everyone. And thank you so much. We'll have it. We'll do it again. We'll have you on again, man. Thank you. Cool, man. Thanks, you guys, have guys. a great day. Have a great day.